Welcome back YouTubers. Today we're talking about cash and the lack of it. When I say when I say a lack of cash, I don't mean I've got no cash. I mean I don't need any cash anymore. China is now essentially a cashless society, cashless world. I haven't required cash for three years now living in China. Three years. I've not gone to any even street vendor to buy an apple or to do anything and need any actual cash. Paying at a restaurant, paying for a taxi, nothing. Now I'm doing this video mainly just to give you a bit of a heads up. Yeah, you'll find many people doing stories and in-depth reviews on uh, the apps in China and how everything works and doesn't work and and the rest of that. It. Um, I think the most important thing is if you're coming to China for travel or for a holiday for a business, any sort of reason. Be prepared. Don't need to go and uh, draw out a massive wad of cash that you're going to do an exchange at the airport with when you arrive, the currency exchange. You need to bring some money, sure, but uh, uh, don't carry it with you. At the airport, when you arrive, you need to exchange your cash, but exchange it and get it into your mobile phone you go anywhere in china to pay for anything you need to scan a qr code you scan at the restaurant you scan the qr code for the uh, grandma on the street with her her little card when you buy an apple off her on the street you need to scan QR codes to do everything, pay everything, even websites, web addresses are all accessed for your, for your business and other activities and advertising all through QR codes. Now most of this is all done in one, one app, one app called WeChat. I'll put some links down below. Even foreigners coming to China for travel, for a holiday, get WeChat. Go to your app store in Australia or America, wherever you are, go to your app store and download WeChat. You can register with your own mobile phone number from Australia or from America. And when you arrive, you go to your currency exchange office and you ask them to help you transfer it to your WeChat account. If you're able to get a Chinese SIM card at your arriving airport, that's an even better option because the uh, some of the programs like WeChat, they work a lot better if you're using a, a local um, SIM card, a local phone number. When you register with a local SIM card in China, you'll need to register as a foreigner with your passport scan up your passport, copy of your passport, and once it's approved, you're good to go. Now, if you're staying here longer than, I think, three, maybe four weeks, staying longer than four weeks, highly recommend you just go to a bank. As a foreigner, they will allow you to open a bank account. It's no big deal. You can go to uh, Bank of China and quite a few other, other key banks they will allow you to open a foreigner bank account and if you tell them it's for WeChat use, it'll be pretty straightforward. The bank will give you an account that is restricted just for or basically set up for the electronic payment and allow you to deposit money into that account. So you don't carry cash with you because no one will accept it. Please remember that no one now in China will accept cash. I've gone to small villages in the back of China and still 
difficult to find people will take will actually accept it with uh, apps like WeChat it's its own ecosystem it's got its own uh, arrangement with lots of what they call mini apps within the app. So when you're at uh, KFC or anywhere else like that and you wanna buy something, you basically just scan the codes they have on the windows or on the tables in the restaurants. It will open a mini app within your app, which is an app for KFC, which is separate to WeChat, but it's a mini app within the app so you don't need to go and download lots of apps in China. You don't need to go and download an app for everything that you're going to use for every restaurant or everything you're going to shop with, pay with, uh, everywhere. You want to pay bills, you want to top up your mobile phone card. Basically in China, if you don't have a mobile phone, you're in trouble. So mobile phones are everywhere and a lot of cheap ones as well. But they're all still good enough to run WeChat and transact on everything, everywhere you go. Whether you're uh, paying for your um, restaurant bill, hotel bill, flights, train tickets, street food vendors, Come to China, you've got to try street food. Street food in China is insane. It is so beautiful, so awesome. Lots of snack streets. You go to the snack streets in China, you need your mobile phone to pay them. You need WeChat to pay them. If you don't have WeChat, you're gonna have a big headache trying to buy uh, a barbecued stick or uh, anything. And we, we've got to the point where we even use it within the business for a lot of simple things because everyone likes to have their money in their WeChat account. You imagine an employee uses, they have, to, they have to take a taxi one day for business, they pay with WeChat. So they want the money back in their WeChat. So when we reimburse cash back to the employees, we basically have uh, an account set up for the business and uh, uh, from our accounts department when we want to reimburse them for uh, any cash, any expenses for local travel, we just transfer it through WeChat. It gives you very, very strict records. It tracks everything and it links back to your bank accounts. And like any other banking um, software or banking apps you might have in your country, WeChat gives you amazing information about your history, all the history of your purchases. I can look back on my history of all my purchases and download it into my phone, into a spreadsheet format anytime I like, gives you lots of little charts, tells you lots of wonderful information. It'll give you a summary every couple of months and the summary at the end of the year, that's scary. When it tells you, hey, look look how much money you spent this year. And it tells you where you spent it. If it was all on food, at tasty restaurants. So don't forget, if you're coming to China, bring your cash, but be prepared to download all that cash into your WeChat app. If you don't get your WeChat app before you come, you might have a little trouble. So download the WeChat app in your country so you'll have an English version WeChat app in your phone ready to take it to the currency exchange and get the money into your app. They'll transfer it to your WeChat phone account. All right, I'm almost at work now. Good luck on your travels and your visit to China. Maybe I'll see you soon. Like the button if you like. If you enjoyed this video, if you find it interesting, please hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel for more videos. See you again.